Uh, currently, this meeting is on record uh, so that those of us who uh, will not be a uh, privilege uh, or opportune to join this meeting tonight, we will share this introductory uh, first meeting uh, on our YouTube and also on our respective uh, social media platforms. And so I expected all, almost all the leaders from all the African countries to uh, be a part of this meeting. And though uh, we still have a few minutes, let us wait and see. But before then, we would like to, I would like to welcome uh, Mommy Alice Jaffet, uh, one of our uh, admin, administrators and also uh, our humanitarian uh, from one of the states in Nigeria. I, I also want to welcome uh, Mr. Emmanuel Hussein Izaki, who is the national ambassador for Nigeria. I also want to welcome one of our humanitarians. If you are a humanitarian, you are a leader because you have people that you are watching over. And so that automatically makes you a leader and also part of this particular forum. Uh, I also want to welcome one of our active coordinators out of uh, Kaduna State, uh, Mr. Hosaya, who is very punctual and also always present and active in our regular updates. And I also want to welcome one of our uh, leaders uh, from one of the local governments out of Adamawa State. Uh, I think his name there is, um, I'm not seeing, okay, his name is NSC. Uh, I think uh, he is one of uh, our members from uh, Mubi region in Adamawa State. Uh, and I also want to welcome Mr. Mani Buma and um, also Tanimu is just joining also uh, one of the assistant coordinator out of uh, Kaduna State here in Nigeria. Uh, and so I want to welcome uh, also, okay, uh, we have Benjamin Elams who also just joined in. Uh, I will give us the opportunity to do uh, self-introduction in a few minutes. Uh, let us uh, discuss on some vital key informations about where we are at this stage and also what we as leaders are supposed to do. Uh, the essence of this meeting is to bring all the leaders together uh, in order for us to discuss and also uh, share ideas on how we can carry this migration uh, up to speed and also to the next level in order to have this exchange open. Uh, and so first, I would like to clarify the issue of the opening of our IWC exchange in Africa. Uh, during the ICO, we have a lot of people who uh, participated in the distribution process some of which are humanitarians, others are independent subscribers and also uh, leaders of IWC representing uh, whether in Nigeria, from Liberia, and also Ghana, Togo, Ivory Coast, and other different regions. Uh, and so your becoming a part of this project is very significant significance in such a way that uh, many of us at the moment may not understand where you are, but as time goes on, you will get to understand it very clear and also better. And so uh, though we still have so many other leaders that are yet to join, and this has been our major problem in uh, the African leadership of the incredible world coin. Many leaders in Africa do not even know how to operate their phones. And so that is why we have a lot of work to do 
a lot of work in the sense that when this exchange comes open, we are going to have a lot of vulnerable people, vulnerable in the exchange that scammers and spammers are going to take advantage of their vulnerability by stealing their coins and also trying to uh, compromise the entire process in terms of trading because we have desperate people in our midst who are ready to sell their coins via whatsapp not on the exchange because we will have people advertising iwc on whatsapp and so you will also see you will also discover that when that period comes you will see people chatting each other via whatsapp the person will ask you to send your coins to them before you receive your money and so we will have gullible people who will actually do that uh, uh, by proceeding to send their coins out of desperation and they will end up losing their digital asset and so i wouldn't want us to be like that uh, this is one of the reasons why this particular group chat has been set aside to educate us leaders from our uh, from respective regions or from different parts of africa so that we can also take this advantage to inform our people to educate subscribers under our watch to try as much as possible to be very careful during transactions but our first utmost top priority now is for us to see how we can migrate people or our users into the exchange where we can all begin to trade, where we can all begin to buy and sell, stake and swap, uh, and also uh, do a lot of transactional activities on the IWC exchange. And so uh, we have people joining uh, simultaneously and also gradually. Uh, I will begin, I, I, would, I will continue with the introduction uh, in the next 10 minutes. Let's give out 10 minutes uh, so that other leaders can join. People are joining gradually. And so for those who just came in, you are welcome. And so have it in mind that each and every one of us, you are going to introduce yourself and also tell us the country where you are representing. Uh, and so, uh, so far we have added about um five countries in the group chat other countries uh sometimes when you are trying to add them on whatsapp uh you can't be able to add but i have sent a link whatsapp will send them a link to join and so some other countries uh like burkina faso they are they are they are still here to join the forum and uh also some of our representations from Abidjan, from uh, Cote d'Ivoire, they are also uh, yet to join. But um, I know that the, uh, the ambassador for Abidjan is already in, uh, who, uh, who is by name Amon uh, Edgan. I don't know, he's not yet in the meeting tonight. Uh, and so we have added uh, Pastor Frank from Sierra Leone who is the amb assistant ambassador and also Pastor Daniel from Sierra Leone. Uh, they have never been to any of our meetings. And so you find it difficult to see most of these people coming on our forums because some of them do not even know how to join these meetings. And so we, we need to do a lot in order to uh, be able to reach out to those people. And so without wasting much time, uh, I would like to go directly into uh, self-introduction. We will not continue to wait. We are already 11 minutes away from the stipulated time of our meeting. The essence of this meeting before we proceed to doing anything is uh, the introduction aspect. And so if you are a leader, and I mention your name, you will unmute your mic and tell us your name and the country where you represent. Uh, and also tell us your position in the incredible world coin. And so that is the essence 
of this meeting tonight for us to get to know other leaders from other regions, from other countries, and also to give a highlight of where we are and what do we need to do, then share ideas together as leaders on how we can take a different approach in terms of uh, ensuring that this particular uh, migration process is successfully completed as required so that we can have the trading the trading activities on and also uh, going uh, simultaneously or smoothly on our exchange. Uh, uh, and so I will begin, uh, the names are going to be alphabetically. And so if I mention your name, uh, you can unmute, uh, unmute your mic, greet the house and tell us which region are you representing uh, as one of the leaders of Incredible World Coin. And so first on my list, I have uh, Mommy Alice Jaffet. Uh, yeah. You will unmute your mic and introduce yourself and also tell us uh, where you are representing and which country do you reside. Good evening, house. Yes, good evening, ma'am. Good, good, good evening, ma'am. We are all welcome to this meeting. I am Alice Jaffet from Adama State, Nigeria. I'm one of the administrators in humanitarian. And I thank God for having this, uh, giving us this opportunity to come once as administrators and leaders to discuss difficulties we are finding in this uh, uh, migration. Yes. So I greet all of you and I hope that we have solutions to our problems as we continue. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mommy. Uh, that is one of my uh, well-respected uh, uh, mothers from uh, Nigeria, who is representing uh, our daddy as one of the humanitarians and also an administrator at the same time. Thank you so much for that warm introduction. Uh, and so uh, next on my list, I have Benjamin Elams. You can unmute your mic and greet the house. Tell us where you are representing and what is your position in the Incredible World Coin. Good evening, everybody. Yes, good evening. My name, oh, my name is Benjamin Elam, and I'm an administrator of one of the humanitarians. I'm from Adama State, Nigeria. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Benjamin Elams uh, from Adamawa State, Yola, who is one of the uh, ambassadors also. Uh, next on my list, I have uh, Ima Zaki in the house. Uh, so unmute yourself and greet the house very quickly. Good evening, everyone. I just want to bless God for this uh, very meeting that uh, by the wisdom of God, God has brought all of us together to discuss things that are going to enhance uh, the progress of this project. Uh, my name remains Emmanuel Hussein Izaki, the ambassador of IWC Nigeria. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much for that warm introduction, uh, uh, my able ambassador. Uh, next, I will uh, call on David D. Makama. You can unmute your mic and greet the house very quickly. David. Uh, good evening, house. Yes, good, evening. good evening. My name is David Makama from Nigeria, Kaduna State. Uh, I'm one of the administrators at me in Kaduna State. Thank you. Thank you very much, David. Uh, you are uh, most welcome. Uh, Thank you. Today sir. actually happens to be the first day we are holding uh, this meeting. And so we, we may have a lot of people absent. Uh, but perhaps I may likely have to put a call through the uh, leaders individually so that we can all try to be in attendance in our next meeting 
Uh, and so next I have uh, Mr. Fiagon Bokito. You can unmute your mic and greet the house and introduce yourself. Uh, tell us where you are representing. Good evening, house. Yes, good my evening. Name good evening my name is Fiagon Bokito from Adamawa State. Okay. Thank you so much. You are welcome, sir. Uh, Mr. Vokito. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Vokito is one of the humanitarians from Adamawa State in Nigeria. All right. Uh, I will proceed next to uh, Mr. George Achi. You can unmute your mic and greet the house and introduce yourself very quickly. Good evening, family of RWC. This is Reverend Ajike George uh, speaking from Liberia, Grand Basel County, to be specific. As a candidate, a county coordinator of this session, I'm very glad to meet each and every one of you people in this chat room. This work is very tedious, but we have to manage it that everything that we are putting into come to reality. Mm. Every one of us that we are re representing an individual personality. And we need we need to work in the benefit of them. So uh, thank you for permitting me to just get uh, this permission to speak to the audience. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Reverend Achi K. George from Liberia. Uh, and so some of us, uh, for the first time, we, we may be hearing uh, uh, our respective tunes when it comes to English, because in Africa, we have unique, uh, 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 you know, tunes in Africa. So some of us, if you do not understand anything, you can drop uh, your question or probably what uh, you want, need, need more clarity on the comment section. Uh, I think Reverend Achi sent a number on the comment section to be added. Uh, and so that number has been added. Uh, so if it's your coordinator, tell the person to join the meeting. He has been added into the group. Thank you so much. Uh, and so uh, I would like to proceed. Uh, next uh, on my list, I have Mr. Uh, uh, Dean, Mr. Harry Mas, Odnell. Sir, you can unmute your mic, introduce yourself, and tell us where you are representing. Thank you. Good evening, Global House. Good evening. Harry Mars. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. This is my name. Thank you very much. From Nigeria, Adam State, your light be specific. I am a humanitarian, and I'm so glad that this particular group has been set up, mm. that we might wow. rob minds and share things in common. I therefore congratulate. Mr. Thank you so much. Incredible Thank you so much. for doing this. It's my prayer that God will help us to forge ahead. Amen. Thank you and God bless. All right. Thank you so All much. Right. Sir. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. That Thank you. Introduction. Uh, that is one of our humanitarians from Yola. Uh, we have this particular part of Nigeria has the highest humanitarians in nigeria and so that is why we have uh, most of them also here in the forum and i strongly believe that by the time this exchange comes open we will record a good number of millionaires from this region uh, i want to appreciate uh, you for taking your time to be with us this evening thank you so much uh, next i would uh, like next to i would you. like to appreciate Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I would I would also like to bring in uh, Mr. Hosea Audu. Uh, unmute your mic very quickly and uh, introduce yeah. yourself. Good evening, everyone in the house. Yes, you are welcome. Yeah, I'm speaking from Southern Kaduna State, Nigeria. My name is Hosea Audu Didam. I am one of the coordinators right here so i'm very impressive to see this uh, uh platform of coordinators coming up so i wish us happy deliberation tonight thank you 
Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Hosaya, uh, from southern uh, part of Kaduna State. Uh, next, I have Mr. NSC. Uh, you can unmute your mic uh, and uh, introduce yourself briefly and also greet the house very quickly. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, thank you so much for this opportunity and the privilege to be part of this uh, uh, meeting tonight. I um, just handed uh, over a new portfolio. will be one of the coordinators. I reside in uh, Adama State movie precisely. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, we are glad to have you in this meeting tonight. Uh, uh, next on my list, I have Manny Buma. You can unmute your mic and greet the house, Mr. Manny, very quickly. If I didn't mention your name, pardon me. Uh, some of our names are typical African names. Uh, and so bear with me, Mr. Manny. I don't know if he's a Mr. or a Mrs. Boomer, you can unmute your mic very quickly and greet the house, if you can hear me, uh, so we can proceed. All right, it looks as if uh, uh, maybe there is a network connectivity issue. All right. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Okay. Uh, happy to be part of this platform. My name is... Uh, Mr. Sumo Moalba, West African Training Coordinator, present in Liberia. Thank you so much. But I'm seeing a different name appearing on our Google meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, is yeah. This your your traditional I, was trying to log name? From my, I was trying to log in from my regular account, but it was giving me some issue. That's why I had to log into this. Oh, all right. You are welcome, sir. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, right. Mr. Sumo C. Molba is one of uh, our hard-working uh, leaders in West Africa who is always on the move. And so I want to really appreciate the energy and I also thank you so much, sir, for the effort and also your dedication towards IWC. Uh, these sacrifice will never go unrewarded. And so thank you so much for also uh, uh dedicating your time to be here in this forum thank you sir you are welcome once thank again you. yes thank you, uh man. next i will proceed to introduce uh, uh mr mohammed j sansei uh you will unmute your mic and greet the house tell us your name and where which country you are representing and which region you are precisely um hello to everyone, yes. my name is Mohamed J. Smithy, and a coordinator for Mo region, South of Province, Sierra Leone to be specific. Sierra Leone, I'm okay, from Bo City, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, Correct. you are welcome, Mr. Mohamed from Bo, uh, Bo City uh, in Sierra Leone. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of this uh meeting tonight i hope that after this meeting you will do your best to put all our users together and also expand the base over there in Bo. Uh, and so you are welcome thank you so much uh next i would like to introduce uh mr nehemiah johanna who is also one of the leaders uh tell us where you are uh, residing and also introduce yourself so we can get to know you better. You are welcome, sir. I greet everyone in the house. Good evening. My name is Nehemiah Johanna Good evening, sir. from Abuja. I'm the coordinator of the FCT Abuja, Nigeria. Thank you so much. Uh, that's, our, uh, uh, that's our federal capital territory, uh, Abuja uh, coordinator uh also joining us this evening thank you so much for uh coming on board tonight i will also like to uh, very quickly uh usher in our able leader mr paul from the south southeast and south south uh region of nigeria but let him introduce himself very quickly 
Yes, Mr. Paul, you can unmute your mic very quickly and come in. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you. I'm Mr. Paul, like my director have already introduced me. I'm Mr. Paul Onamuchi from Southeast Nigeria. Based in Enro. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Paul from Enro. Uh, uh, do us a favor to inform all your leaders to also do everything possible to be part of our regular leadership meetings. Yes. Okay, sir. So that I'll we do that, can sir. carry everyone along. I have posted the migration uh, tutorials. Thank you so much, Mr. Paul. Uh, uh, okay, let me take the last person uh, on the list before I proceed uh, because of time. Uh, yes, I have Mr. Tanimu Madaki also joining us tonight. You can unmute your mic very quickly and greet the house, introduce yourself, and tell us where you are representing. All right, um, Mr. Tanimu, if you can hear me, uh, kindly touch your microphone on the screen. It will come, it will unmute itself automatically, and then you can uh, come in. Uh, otherwise, we will proceed uh, because of time. Uh, and so, like I stated, okay, uh, Hello? you are on. Yes, Mr. Tanimu, Hello? come in and introduce yourself. All right. Um... My name is uh, Tanimu Madaki, uh, Assistant Coordinator of Cardinal State for Nigeria. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Tanimu, and uh, we are happy to have you on board. Uh, like I stated uh, earlier, uh, some of our leaders, some leaders are not here tonight. Uh, we are only represented by uh, three countries, if I am not mistaken. I am only seeing Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Nigeria. And so that shows that these are the most active regions when it comes to this migration process. But nevertheless, we will try to reach out to other countries. I'm not seeing Burkina Faso. I'm also not seeing uh, Mr. Edgar from uh, Ivory Coast. I'm also not seeing... Uh, uh, Madam Elizabeth from Togo uh, and so we have so many other leaders who are not following and that is why we are having some issues even uh, Dr. Kwesi from Ghana is not in the meeting uh, and so these are people who I communicated with them personally to make it a point of duty to be here in this meeting tonight uh, but perhaps maybe uh, it could be uh, some connectivity challenge or rather some of them uh, have forgotten. And so I have been, I shared the two video tutorials, the links uh, to the migration process and also how to set up your two-factor authentication. For those of you who have not yet set up your 2FA or uh, perhaps you were not able to sign up, on the exchange, you will need to do that very quickly so that you can be able to uh, have your migration process details submitted. And so uh, we have about uh, 106 users left for the bulk migration to take place. And so we are gradually making progress. Uh, and so for those of you there are people from Nigeria who have not yet migrated. I think we have about four to six persons from Mr. Paul who are still not yet migrated based on the little challenge we are facing. And so I which I am going to address that. We also have people, uh, we found out that there are people from Nigeria who are making payment. Uh, as a matter of fact, there were people who paid money since December but they have not yet migrated. And so how are we going to know that you have done your migration? One thing is pay, making payment of the money. The other thing, the most important thing is sending your details for migration. 
And so making payment is not enough. When you do make your payment, do everything possible within your uh, power to be able to sign up on the exchange and submit your migration details. And so the reason why these migration details are required to be submitted is because on our uh, ICO, we have a lot of spammers. We have a lot of people who have diverse multiple accounts. And so this will help the, the migration process to be able to safeter or be able to censor all those uh, spam accounts created on the uh, on the ICO, uh, sending them into the exchange. And so we want to migrate legitimate people. We don't want to migrate people uh, who are, whose accounts are not validated. And so if you have made any mistake in during the ICO on your names, try as much as possible to ensure that your wallet account in the exchange uh, is in accordance with your names on your identity because those of us who have not done KYC, there will be a verification that will be required of you to do before you are able to begin your transactions. And so basically today we are not going to do much, but uh, it was intended for introductory uh, 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 is an introductory meeting to introduce ourselves, to get to know ourselves better, to get to also begin to share uh, uh, useful ideas that will help to speed up this migration process. Why am I saying this is because there will come a time where I or the ambassador or some of our coordinators might not be able to cover up the entire population and also the people we represent in our respective regions. And so it is important that we carry out uh, some activities here by teaching us. We are going to do, uh, as time goes on, before our regular Friday meetings, we will be meeting maybe once or twice every week before the regular Friday meeting so that we can be able to uh, uh, speed up some of these ideas that we are going to bring up together in order to help fast track uh, the issue of the migration process. Uh, and so uh, I would like us to begin the deliberation because we are not in, I'm not in, I don't intend to keep us here for too long today as we have already introduced ourselves. Uh, and so uh, today I will welcome, I will uh, leave the forum open for suggestions and also contributions and uh, specifically I would like us to share ideas especially those of us who are humanitarians and those of us whom have received humanitarian allocation yes uh, and so uh, Mr. Paul I am not seeing uh, uh, Mr. Joman in this meeting and he is added into this group and so Please inform all your leaders. I saw their comments, but they have been complaining that they don't understand what is happening and they don't know where we are at the moment. So why they would not be able to understand is because they are not regular. They don't attend the updates and they are not following up with activities happening in our uh, uh, YouTube channel. So if you are missing anything, try to visit our YouTube channel and also refer all our users to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that whenever any update is uploaded, they will get the information or the notification to watch the update. And so if you have any question or contribution, I would like you to either write a comment or indicate by raising up your hand uh, on the forum using your app so that we can be able to address uh, some of the questions or also some of the lapses that you are experiencing. Uh, and for those of us who want to give us ideas, this is why we are here. We are going to come up with other trainings, but not today. So uh, before I give the room or the opportunity for our various ambassadors and also leaders, 
Uh, if there is anyone who has any question, signify by raising up your hands before we go into the contribution aspect. Do we have any uh, question in the house? As a leader, is there anything you do not understand? Do you understand the migration process? Do you understand how to navigate the sign-ups on our incredible exchange? So if that is clarified and there is no question, I expect every leader to begin to migrate, help in migrating your users. If you do understand the entire procedures, try as much as possible to migrate yourself and also help in migrating others. Uh, and so this is one of the key uh, reasons why we are here today. And so I would like uh, perhaps to give us uh, the opportunity one after the other, uh, but I would uh, prefer it raising up your hand. Those of us who may likely want uh, to share one or two ideas with us regarding this migration process, you can indicate by raising up your hands and also tell us what your idea is so that we can give you the opportunity to share those ideas. All right, uh, and so I want to see hands. I am not seeing anybody raising up their hands. Uh, okay, uh, let me begin with uh, the ambassador from Nigeria. You can unmute your mic and come in. Give us your own suggestion what do you want us to do in order to fast track this particular migration process? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, my boss is boss. Thank you for his wisdom and everything that God has been using you to do. Uh, the only thing that I just want to say is first. How many of, how us, many of us, us in this place? I just want to ask a question. Whether all of, Either us, all of us, us in this group knows how to, knows migrate. How to migrate. I just want to I know how to migrate. can migrate to do the migration by ourselves. I think that's the first step. Before I will say what I want to say and the suggestion I want to bring. Leaders, leaders. I don't know, I don't know. how many of us don't know how to migrate. Let me say, how many of us don't know how to migrate? You can just raise your hand. Leaders, leaders. Oh. Um, the house is quiet. You are not supposed to keep quiet here. Uh, we are not in the general chat uh, meeting. This is strictly leadership meeting. And so let us feel free to air our views. This is the main reason why we are here in this chat room. If you know that you don't know how to migrate, kindly indicate by raising up your hand just the way i'm raising up my hand i as you can see i'm waving my hands uh here on the app so if you know that you don't know how to migrate anyone raise your hands from the app like this the way i'm raising waving my hands uh using the app on the google meeting and so how many of us don't know how to migrate okay uh i'm only seeing one person raising up your hand on uh, from the video uh, uh yes uh our coordinator from movie yes or mute your mic or mute your mic touch the microphone what is the challenge when it comes to migration yes actually actually i've not started the migration process already uh just i said uh, from uh, the last meeting that we i had with you uh and i made a complaint about uh, the support from movie as is and as a matter of fact, there is nobody that's attached to people in a movie as is. So I'm suggesting that if there will be a kind of a training for, at least for me, as the coordinator in movie, so that I can carry other people along and see how I can uh, talk to them. So that, because a lot of people are not aware, some, some, don't, some are even ignorance of this migration or, of a thing. So that uh, we can also help from this as is, so that we can, all other people can join the migration, so that everything will go on as uh, spontaneously. All right. Um, before you go, I, I posted two different links on this chat room, on our uh, coordinators and leaders chat room. Yes. Were you able to click on any of the links to watch the tutorial? Yes. Yes. 
click on it, but I'm having a network issue. Network, you have been a challenge to us from this as Okay. Uh, I think what I've you not should been able do... to watch the video about uh, video you posted to me, link. So because we have network chat. Okay. What you should do is you can go straight to YouTube. Go to youtube.com and also type Incredible Wealth Coin on youtube.com. Uh, our channel will come up. Just type migration tutorials and it will take you straight to the video for migration. And then you can straight away take your time and watch the procedures. It is not hard. It is very easy. Uh, how to sign up on the exchange is very, very easy to do. Uh, and so try and watch that video before our next meeting so that I will know if you can be able to do the migration or not. Follow the instructions. As a matter of fact, there are leaders in our midst who never uh, had an, any encounter with someone. Uh, they, they saw the tutorial and they went straight ahead, did the migration successfully. And I, I, I try to simplify the, the tutorial in such a way that you as an individual will be able to understand. Uh, and so I would appreciate if you can watch that video first, then come back if you have any question, because that video alone is uh, enough to guide you on how you can be able to migrate yourself and also others. All right. And so take your time to uh, watch that tutorial. And then if you have any question, uh, you can send the question into the chat room or you can channel the question to any of the administrators or myself directly, and I will be happy to attend to your question. All right. Uh, I think uh, there is a serious network connectivity out of uh, some regions, especially that Mubi uh, area in uh, is part of Adamawa State. Uh, that is uh, one of the regions sharing boundary uh, between Nigeria and Cameroon. And so that is why uh, sometimes you have good network and sometimes it's, it fluctuates. And so just try as much as possible to watch that tutorial. It will help you a lot uh, in the migration process. Or better still, um, we have uh, Pastor Steven who is actually supposed to be represented and also who should be doing the migration and also helping other people, but he has never been in any of our meetings. So leadership oh. is not just by mouth. Uh, so when you are a leader, you have to lead with all enthusiasm. And so Pastor Stephen supposed to have paid attention to learn how to do this migration process, but uh, he has never been in any of our meetings. Uh, the ambassador communicated with him one on one. Uh, I think that was a day before yesterday. And we also told him that he is added in this group. So I don't know why he is not in this meeting tonight, but try and go through that tutorial and uh, let me know uh, if you have any challenge so that we can address whatever difficulty you may be passing through. Thank you so much. Uh, next, uh, I, I, I saw uh, Mr. Mohammed also from Sierra Leone raising up his hands. You can unmute your mic, Mr. Sensei from Sierra Leone. What is your challenge or what is your question? Uh, yes, sir. My, my issue here is because... Um, we have a lot of um, members according to the um, Mr. Richard, but the question here is, I don't know most of, most of their locations, and actually, I want you to 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 help me get the, their contact so that if, if there's any doubt or difficulties, I will just uh, 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 communicate it with you. But I don't know most. Of them, their contact, their uh, locations. So please, I want to help. All right. Uh, I think uh, Pastor Frank and also uh, the two coordinators are part of this group. Uh, and so I will send. Um, I will share their Hello? contact information. Yes. 
Mohammed, I will, I will, I will, I will send you the code uh, assistant ambassador's number, Pastor Frank. But he lives in Freetown, and you are in both city, and so uh, there is a bit distance between you and him. But I, I think I sent you his number the other time. Were you able to communicate with him? All right. Uh, and so these are some of the challenges we are experiencing around Africa, network uh, connectivity. All right. Uh, you are having poor internet. Okay, I can see your comment on the comment section. Uh, I will share the contacts of the assistant ambassador for Sierra Leone again uh, because uh, uh, Apostle George LCA is representing Liberia and Sierra Leone, but he has his assistant over there in uh Hello, uh, can you hear me now? All right, uh, Mohammed, yes, uh, like okay. I stated, uh, I will I will share the coordinator's number with you so that uh, uh, we can be able to uh, get in touch together. Most of them do not join meetings. I don't know if they don't understand how to join these meetings. Uh, so I don't know what the challenge is. But all the same, we are going to handle that uh, uh, gradually as we proceed in the migration process and also try to get a contact of all our users uh, and so reach out to those who purchase yes, our coins through the bishop in 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 both city there so that you can help them in the migration process uh, and also reach out to the director uh, for administration so we can have the calculation of the 0 0.02 BNB uh, equivalent in Lyons so that we can be able to help migrate your your people on uh, that region. Uh, and so uh, that is that for uh, Sierra Leone. I will come back to Mr. Paul in the southeast. Mr. Paul, you can unmute your mic. Tell us the challenges and what, we, uh, what you are facing. What are the challenges? Uh, that you are confronted with in your region. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, the challenges that I'm facing here is um, uh, first of all about the the bulk migration that uh, we plan to to do Otherwise, earlier before now, okay. and that is the reason why we are. Uh, you know, everybody is not is just feeling. Uh, should I say less concern or what? I was just trying to encourage them. Right? Yes. All right. So I was trying to encourage them that we have come a long way, and uh, we need to push it hard to the end. At this, uh, we're almost at the at the point where everybody was smile. So I cannot I cannot force anybody. I, I'm just pleading, like as if I use my money. I call them. I you know I talk to them. Uh, so uh, you know the the six person that uh, was uh, that supposed to be in bulk. When we get to the the point of uh, showing the evidence of payment. Mm. We'll get stuck because uh, there's no evidence of payment yet. So that is uh, the way we are now. And uh, most of them are suggesting that the best is that bulk payment because it's very, most of them don't even know anything about the, uh, uh, should I say, don't even know or have time to, for the migration. That is my problem with them. Like Joe Man, Joe Man, uh, I know some uh, some of his problem is uh, mostly the language uh, barrier. Uh, the way he understands things is not. Uh, uh, sometimes I keep on telling him, "Look at, look at, look at how it goes." It is better you come to the meeting, join the meeting. At least at the end of the meeting, you must pick one or two things that will help you to move forward. 
and to to follow up with what we are doing. So uh, he keep on promising me that he will join. George told me that George was even the one that told me about this meeting, today's meeting. But I didn't see George here. So I will keep on encouraging them. That is it. All right. So. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, since uh, you you said you you actually got stuck uh, where you are supposed to submit the migration details, right? Mm. Mr. Paul, you said you actually got stuck where you are supposed to submit the migration details. Is that what you are actually, uh, have you been able to give the balance on the exchange? No, when we're, well, no, not even me, but uh, some, uh, some of those guys, those six persons that paid mm. in bulk, that I paid uh, in bulk, when we are migrating them, when we get to a point of showing the evidence of payment, we cannot yes. do that because, uh, uh -huh. so that okay, is because the, the, the payment problem. was done in bulk. Yes. But we were able to do the other migration process very successfully. Yes. All right. Uh, and so you should have communicated to the ambassador uh, so that uh, you, uh, why we want you to begin to do things for yourself is because there will come a time where everybody will engage into trading activities which is the buying and selling uh, and so you may yes, not sir. have me to attend to people from here and attend to the other people from there that is why i want all leaders to get to know how to do all of this by themselves mm. and so okay. uh, 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 we uh, communicate with the ambassador so that he will tell you what to do based on that bulk migration. I think he, he has spoken to you uh, 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 recently, according to him, but uh, try as much as possible to complete that process by tomorrow so that the numbers can increase. We are almost uh, getting to the numbers that are required for the bulk migration. So we already have six people who have made payment uh a uh, few weeks back but yet to migrate so let's try and complete that process uh, so that you can be able to uh, begin to migrate other people into the exchange thank you so much uh, uh, let's try as much as possible to increase the momentum uh, many people are discouraged and the reason why a yes. lot of people are discouraged is because we in africa we are used to one thing we are very much used to quick and fast way or shortcuts that is what many of yeah. us are used to and so if it doesn't no come comments. the way we understand it and the way we want it to come uh, it is tagged yeah. as not legit uh, and I want to appreciate Mr. Paul for dropping that video uh, on our forums uh, concerning someone who is talking about uh, cryptocurrency. As I'm talking mm -hmm. to you right now, even the federal government of Nigeria is beginning to train over 31,000 youths. Some of our mm -hmm. Incredible World Coin subscribers are part of that training, uh, training them. Mm -hmm. Uh, in blockchain and also cryptocurrency as I, as we are, as we are having this conversation right now and so and for those of us uh, actually in uh, Nigeria I strongly believe uh, we are seeing what is happening we are seeing a transition between the fiat to another fiat system this transition is only a change of or a redesign of currency, but we can see the level of hardship and also the level of suffering that a lot of people are going through in Nigeria. And so when we come to the issue of transitioning from the paper money or from your local currency into your digital currency, be it your digital Naira, or your digital dollars or your digital leons 
or whatever digital currency or your digital CD and what have you, or SEFA, a lot of us are going to die in hunger. Why? Because this process requires a lot. And so what we are seeing now in Nigeria is just a tip of the iceberg compared to what is coming in the nearest future. And so those who will not be part of this revolutionary move are going to be left behind. And so IWC is a long time project, is not a short time project. That is why it is not a get rich quick scheme. We have been saying this from the ICO uh, up till this moment, and I will keep reiterating that so that it will get into us very, very well. But I can guarantee all those who are holding IWC that certainly this project is going to make you a millionaire in the nearest future. But we will all have to do the right thing. Yes. And so those of us who are discouraged, we can walk along with those who still have faith in the process. Let them migrate. So perhaps maybe by the time we will begin to have transactions going on, withdrawal activities are going on, uh, maybe they will wake up and have faith back in the project or back in IWC. And so let us not be discouraged as leaders. Let us continue to forge and move ahead until we attain our goals. And so uh, thank you so much for that uh, update, Mr. Paul. Uh, 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 and so I would like to come back to uh, Reverend Achi from Liberia. I think, uh, uh, okay, he is out. Though most of them are out of the meeting because of the internet connectivity. Okay, we also have one of the leaders from from the southeastern part of Nigeria, Mr. George. Mr. George, you can unmute your mic and um, introduce yourself and greet the house. Mr. George, if you can hear me, just touch your microphone and have yourself unmuted. If you can hear me, I don't think uh, George, George is in the house, but he cannot hear me. Uh, he is one of the, okay. Yes. I can hear you, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mr. George. How are you doing? I'm doing great, sir. How is everything? Yes, we thank God. What is going on okay. with the migration process uh, in your end? Uh, we have had a, a little update from your leader, but we want to hear from you what is happening. Why is the migration so dormant in the Southeast? Um, the the reason is uh, one of the reasons uh, is because uh, some of the people that uh, were registered, mm. they were complaining of, uh, you know, some say the, the humanitarian package, they haven't seen anything. And they were now telling them to come and put another money. You know, the reasoning of certain people, we don't reason the same. Mm. So, but we are trying to educate them and let them know that hey, these things are step by step. So about three or four people complained to me when I told them about this migration. Mm. Though I myself, uh, I, I currently, I face some uh, financial challenges, but currently I have the, the migration fee for myself because I haven't migrated yet. And so I, I will, by God's grace, within this week, tomorrow or next, I will, I will bill for the migration. Then uh, I have the migration video, which was sent to me from uh, my brother, uh, Ima Zaki, our Nigerian uh, uh, coordinator. So I have the video, I'm still uh, uh, going through it so that I can master it, so that if someone pays, I can be able to migrate the person from uh, down here from the Southeast. And so uh, some are complaining of the, uh, um, the humanitarian package that they haven't seen anything. And then I told them that it's a step uh, at a time you know who are complaining so it, it, who is complaining what which what which one of the humanitarians is complaining like uh uh there is one uh, Ch uh chiamaka he complained 
she bought uh, 10 uh, ton 10 through me 10 uh, uh, iwc coins through me then uh, uh china saram complained mm. uh that is a unique is her name unique china saram she's part of it she already has uh, some coins How and then uh, uh two other persons so but i told them that it's a step at a time you know so i told them that uh god willing we will discuss with you to know how that package is going if we are yet to receive it if we are going to receive it so but uh, god willing well, i'm hoping that once i do my own we can see how we can you know step up our game to make sure that from here we 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 begin to migrate so that is the situation on ground and mr paul is trying he's been carrying me along otherwise i haven't been in the meeting he's been he's been trying he's been doing a good job Sometimes he will call for a meeting. It will be either I and him, and then Fred may be in and he may not be in. Uh, also with uh, Mr. Juman, sometimes he will be out, you know. So uh, uh, Paul is uh, trying to that regard. So that is uh, the situation down here. All right. Uh, thank you so much uh, for that uh, warm update. Uh, uh, we will see how best to carry other people along uh and so those who are complaining about uh i actually did not understand your complaint uh yeah you telling me that there are people who bought their coins and they could not receive their coins what is the complaint specifically okay specifically i you know this uh when a uh, german yes when he, he 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 paid for humanitarian package mm -hmm. so uh some of them their names were written mm -hmm. as people who so i i use the humanitarian package to attract them to also buy you understand mm -hmm. so uh you know down here sometimes trading and business we we are we are we have um, the mindset of if I do this thing, what is going to be my gain? You get, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and uh, the country now, the way it is, some people, everybody knows how the country, there's no need uh, talking about uh, uh, whether hardship or whatever, but uh, some people believe that last year or two is somehow better than this year. So I use the humanitarian package to attract them to, in order for them to buy and be part of it. Like I told them, look, your names have been submitted and if you buy when the humanitarian packages have been given you also receive extra you get so that was my my enticing uh, aspect of uh, the the deal so they were like okay we have bought you haven't seen something like this you understand when and, their uh, names submitted uh, under whose uh, list did you uh, include their names under, uh, I think I submitted it through uh, Paul. Through Mr. Paul. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Paul, if you can hear me, kindly unmute your mic and tell us how many people are in your list of humanitarians submitted by Mr. George. Hello, sir. Um... It's about uh, 300 and because when Mr. Uh, Joe, mm. he told me that he, he came up with only, I think about uh, 60 names. And uh, he cannot be able to make it up to that uh, number, up to 1,000. Mm. So he said I should pick from my church, my family and uh, uh, all, the, all our groups, you know, to attract people, and yes. which I did. So I now uh, make it up to, three, I think, 300 and something names. All right. So, uh, and, uh, how many yeah. names were collected from Mr. George, added to the list? Mm, I think uh, four or six. I cannot six, remember. I OK, uh, no, I cannot Mr. Remember. George, the, two, the both of you should uh, meet and try to because all the lists that were submitted were all profiled they are okay. all profiled and so uh if the humanitarians that if the people that you are talking about 
that you made a promise to give them an allocation of funds from the humanitarian they are already have exist they already have existing accounts and you resubmitted their names that means they have double accounts and so certainly no, no. they will not be able to receive coins in that same account that they have opened except if their details are submitted so the both of you okay. need to sit down and reconcile that issue and then go okay. through the list that uh, mr paul yes yes you were saying something you have to go through the, your list i think i've sent it yeah. back to you uh, since june of last year during the launching yes but the the name that i submitted you know the the problem is that how the the, the problem come about is that mr joe submitted his own list and now asked me to submit my own list that so is separately I, I told him that it's, uh, separately so and i told him that it's going to be a confusion because the list, the list is supposed to come on his name under his name because all are his uh, beneficiaries so, so was it included uh, in the list you submitted to me or he is supposed to yes. have submitted a different list no i did submit to you and the letter you told me to to return it to ambassador which i did yes so, i know but the list but, that, but, uh, but, uh, Job, ambassador, brought, sorry did you add it Hello, your own list? yes i did okay all right and so we will go through the list uh mr george kindly forward the names of those who are supposed to receive that allocation to the ambassador so that we can find out from the list that was sent. Thank you so much. Okay, and so sir. these are some of the okay, challenges sir. and some of the issues that we need to tackle uh, in this particular leadership meeting. And so we will check the list to find out if the names okay. of those other individuals are also inclusive so that we can uh, take a different approach to having a lasting solution for that. Uh, so thank you very thank much. You, sir. Uh, thank, thank you, sir. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, then uh, we will proceed now. Uh, I'll just take two, uh, two more persons before we can wrap it up because of time. Okay, uh, I'm already in uh, Yola. I have been here for the past two weeks. Uh, and so... Uh, uh, mommy, I don't know if you have any update for us, either you uh, you and Benjamin Elams, but let me begin with uh, 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 Mommy Jaffet. Uh, let us hear from you concerning uh, regarding the migration update and also the progress. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Yes. Uh, we have done our migration to... Uh, a large number, but the ones, the difficulties we are having now is in creating the uh, email for the people to be migrated. Since mm -hmm. it's humanitarian now, and uh, we have most of the people from the rural areas, and uh, they don't even have uh, uh, these um, Android phones. They do, some don't even have phones at all. So we are the ones creating the email for them before migrating them. So for, in doing that now, we, ha, we are chuckled because if we want to uh, to do the email, the the the, uh, the phone will be telling us uh, to to show if we are not robots. So yeah. and that has made us to it has given us a setback on migration we have a lot of names that we are unable to migrate now at our end and uh, another difficulty also is the people that have bought the coin by themselves the iwc and uh, they want to to migrate and then you put uh, our uh, and we're giving them 100 uh, coins how we will be able to to, to match the, th the money for them. So uh, most of them don't have the information on migration. They don't know where to meet two people because we are not having their details. So we can't migrate them. Okay. Uh, uh, in the case of uh, those who are having multiple accounts, 
uh, when migrating those who are having multiple accounts in describing or giving uh, submitting their migration details if uh, those individuals are also given an allocation by the humanitarians the best way uh, to migrate the both uh, the both accounts and get the coins migrated is that you will have to state the two user ids on the ico and mm -hmm. ensure that the names of that person that is having multiple accounts the names tally on the exchange details otherwise if there is any difference on the names the accounts will be suspended it will be tagged as fraudulent uh, and so uh, i think I, I i demonstrated by showing uh ben and other okay ben you can unmute your mic benjamin yeah, sir, the problem do you remember yes, what sir. i showed you in the migration submission yes sir yes sir. all right uh, and so i would like you to uh also try as much as possible to uh put other humanitarian administrators through concerning uh that uh migration especially those who have multiple accounts so that we can okay, all sir. be able to tackle that issue and so uh okay, once those details are submitted uh your account your coins are going to be joined in the exchange, they will receive the entire allocation accurately. So they will migrate the both accounts at once instead of migrating it individually. Because if you are migrating two accounts uh, separately, you will have to pay for the gas uh, fees twice. And so instead of paying the gas fee twice, ensure that the user ID, the two user IDs from different allocations are stated on your email migration details before submitting that to the admin uh with that even if uh, one individual receives several allocations two or three allocations provided it is the same name on that ico uh, the person will be uh, will receive their coins uh, all together in one wallet uh, in the exchange and so let us try to do that it will help us to also uh, uh, cover up these particular multiple allocation uh, 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 allocations that were given to a lot of people during the distribution period. And so coming to the issue of the emails, uh, I think if you are to create, uh, you can create about 7 to 14 emails on one gadget. Uh, I'm talking about... Mm -hmm. I would advise if you can use a laptop if you can use a laptop mm -hmm. and it must not be only gmail so if you create gmails and it's telling you to confirm or uh, whether or not you are not a robot other people you can create a yahoo mail for them and then other people you can create a hotmail or an outlook.com mm -hmm. so we have several options on Google that you can use. So it is not only Gmail. And so if you exceed okay. the limit of Gmail account creation, you can use Yahoo Mails. You can use the Yahoo Mail to create wallets for them. Uh, and also if that one also has uh, reached the limit, you can use Outlook or Hotmail or uh, 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 inbox at mail.com. So we have separate uh, Google service uh, providers, several Google service mm -hmm. provider or Gmail service providers that we can use. And so if the Gmail is not, uh, it's uh, up to limit, use Yahoo Mail. The essence of having or creating that valid email is so that you can receive confirmations uh, from the exchange directly. Okay. And so uh, I think we, could, we, we should try that and see how uh, it will go. And so mommy in using that if gmail is stuck use yahoo mail to create accounts i think on yahoo mail you can create so many uh or you can use okay. hotmail.com as well okay yes thank you uh, let me come again sir. Yes. Uh, those ones with their ico and they don't 
Um, you you are skipping a, a bit. Um, I think we are having some network challenges. Uh, your voice, your audio is not audible in the house. Okay, uh, maybe you can type or write on the comment section, Ma, because we cannot hear you. Uh, your mic is out. So give, drop a comment, drop a comment on the comment section so that we can attend to that next question. Or once you are back online, uh, you can come in uh, directly with your question. And so while uh, while we are doing that, okay, other leaders are actually uh, we have had so the people that bought uh, the IWC themselves. Yes. Hello. Yes, you can proceed, ma. You are you are you are in run. Okay. okay, sir. So that is what I, I, I I'm suggesting that uh, we should look for a way to get the individuals that the individuals that made the purchase so that you will, will migrate them uh, and merge it with our own the humanitarians so that at our end with the humanitarians we now have uh, the uh, difficulty in even creating email for them maybe some of them are, are having emails already hmm. okay yes uh i think uh what we need to do uh right now you are the ones who submitted the list uh, and so uh it will be good for those whom we already know that they, they already have an icu an existing account since we are the ones who submitted uh, we collected their names let us go back to them and uh, also let them know that they have an allocation. If they have a valid email, let them provide that valid email for migration. And if they do not, then we can create a valid email for them so that it will fast track the entire process. Uh, and so uh, I was able to tell Ben the other time that all those who receive an allocation from uh, 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 Reverend Harry Mas, let all of them uh, be given their account details to go and do their migration. And so when they do that migration and then they return or let them meet the administrator in charge of that particular humanitarian so that he or she can help to migrate them and create wallet accounts for them on the exchange. And so I think the first thing is that we need to communicate with them and let them know that they have an allocation and also, if they have a valid email, let them bring it forward for migration. I think that will be uh, uh, one of the best ways for us to be able to reduce the burden of having to create multiple emails. Uh, and so thank you so much, Ma, for that particular uh, 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 suggestion. Uh, and so finally, I will uh, proceed to, uh, I will give an opportunity to Mr. Nehemiah uh, while we are trying to wrap it up, he is also one of the uh, humanitarian uh, back in the FCT. Hello, sir. Yes. Hello, please. Um, I sorry, I'm not. I, I want to ask you for something, sir. This is uh, George speaking. Sir, please. Uh, in our list, like uh, uh, Mr. Paul said, if for adventure, maybe some of the people in the list that are not interested in uh, doing the migration can we make a replacement or do we add more people to get up to 500 persons since he said that our list for humanitarian is not up to the desired 1000 can we add more people to make it up to 500 all right that is uh, people who are using currently at the moment uh i think uh, there is a noise coming out from your background uh so i will have to mute your mic out so that we can uh, have a smooth conversation. Uh, currently, at the moment, there won't be any additional names to be submitted, but those who want to get coins right now can migrate, can pay for migration, and they will get 50% of the coins or the individuals they are going to migrate. And so uh, those lists that you are looking at submitting for other people to get the coins, 
Instead, let them pay for migration fees and then have 50% allocation of those coins uh, uh, given to them. And so uh, uh, you can contact the ambassador also because of time for more clarity concerning regarding that aspect so that those who are still yet outside, we can also give them the opportunity to come in. Thank you so much, Mr. George. Uh, uh, I would like to take uh, Mr. Nehemiah before we wrap the show up this evening. Um, sir, you can unmute your mic and give us update from the humanitarians in uh, the FCT and also uh, what is so, uh, uh, what is at the moment uh, currently at the moment. All right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, in the FCT here, we are actually trying to encourage people to see the need to migrate and uh, few people have responded. Uh, however, a lot of people have not actually uh, responded to, uh, to that call. But we are still pushing and uh, bringing enlightenment because, you know, our people here, some of them actually don't know much about cryptocurrency. Mm. So it has to do a lot of uh, enlightenment, encouragement, motivation to see that they actually see the need. Because I strongly believe that when one know the, the knows the, the the important of what you stand to gain, uh, five thousand is, is a small amount, but I want to believe that because they lack the knowledge, they lack the you know the 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 the, 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 the ability to see what they stand to gain. That's the challenge I think that uh, we face here. But if people can actually see the what they stand to gain, they will go extra mile to be able to you know to source for the money to migrate. So I think we need to do more enlightenment, and that's what we are doing right here in Abuja. Thank All right. You, uh, thank you so All much, right. sir. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, I think uh, what we will need to do is uh, we yes, will organize uh, meetings. We will organize meetings. When I do return, we will organize. When uh, I do return, meeting. we will organize we have, uh, this, uh, a meeting, meeting we can perhaps have, uh, after uh, the election. Meeting or uh, if there is time before the election so that we can be able to uh, speak to our humanitarians. Uh, currently, at the moment, we are having a serious campaign here in Yola. Uh, for the past two weeks, uh, we have been reaching out to most of our users, our humanitarians, and so many other individuals who purchase coins. Uh, and so uh, when we do return, we are going to uh, organize meetings as well so that uh, uh, our subscribers in the FCT and environs will also uh, seize the privilege to have their migrations done. Uh, and so I want to really appreciate us all for turning out. Uh, gradually, we have stayed for almost an hour and some few seconds. Uh, but we don't, I actually never intend to keep us uh, this long, but uh, this is supposed to be the first meeting where we can checkmate and discuss challenges. Uh, and so I strongly believe in our next meeting, we will have more leaders joining or, uh, from other countries uh, in order to be able to get the detailed information about migration. And so uh, if there is no any other contribution or question, uh, I would like to appreciate us all for coming on board there is nothing good that comes easy i will continue to say this because uh anything that will last long has to go through a series of uh, processes and also tests and so uh currently we are at the verge of unleashing the exchange and so in this regard we need to put up every uh, strength we have in us to ensure that we are able to uh, have our people migrated. Uh, we are no longer looking for users. We already have users. Uh, what we need now is for those users to go into the exchange so that activities can begin. And so I want to thank us all for taking our time to be able to uh, attend this meeting tonight. Uh, and so let us all be at, at, uh, at alert and also do our best to attend our meetings whenever we are called upon.
Once again, I want to appreciate everyone and I want to thank you for taking out time to be part of this meeting. Thank you so much until we meet again, uh, perhaps anytime this week or during our Friday meetings. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Good night, sir. Thank you. Good night. Good night.